Hey there guys, what is up? It is Red Mercy bringing you some League of Legends gameplay. So this time I am playing Malzahar and uh, many of you guys did want to see me play Malzahar and uh, I'm more than happy to bring you him. Uh, I really like him actually because uh, like I never had him unlocked, I just unlocked him on my account but uh, I did play him on my friend's account, that like Keytown sometimes when I uh, you know, play with new blocks and rank and you know, that's kind of, Malzahar is one of the people I kind of play quite often on his account as an AP carry, and I really like him. I feel like he's a very strong champion, and uh, I mean, I've always known he's a strong champion, but I've never really enjoyed playing him, and I mean, now I actually kind of like him. I think he's really, really fun, and uh, luckily on their team right now, they have almost nothing to cancel my ulti, so that's going to be a lot of fun. Um, so, this game overall, uh, I think it'll be pretty fun to play, and uh, see how it goes. Uh, so I just made a video which uh, you guys I'm sure already seen because this game is going up on Friday and because I made it today which is Thursday saying how I did get a sponsorship or a partnership with um, Vizo for my channel so more information on that probably on Monday once I know exactly what the terms are and you know I mean I already know a lot of the information but I need to, I don't know as much information as I need to know quite yet about my channel in particular you know exactly what's gonna happen in terms of like ads and you know all that stuff so the um, that's that and uh, also at the beginning or oh, not the beginning in this in the comments uh, even though I said it in the video I posted today which for you will be yesterday technically um, I want you guys to post in the comments tell me a catchphrase that I should use because I don't know I think I, I feel like I need a catchphrase that you know can kind of symbolize me in a sense and I want you guys in the comments if you haven't maybe posted in the previous video to basically um, you know post and tell me what kind of catchphrase you think I should be using for the for the laws I guess you know and uh, I think that's all I want to say. I'm also making a Master Yi hybrid guide for Machinima. Hopefully it will be up next week if I can finish it by then. And um, hmm. Red Assizes, the vi a new series. I did record an episode but I uh, it was basically what happened was I was recording it and then Fraps decided to not work in the sense. Um, so what happened was my folder that or my hard drive because I partitioned my main drive so I can have two drives. So I record all my um, basic videos, all my FRAP files to that partition drive, you know, it makes it faster. So what happened was I didn't, I forgot to delete my old files and like, I don't know, I guess while I was recording that game, FRAP decided to turn off because my drive was full. So no more files could, you know, record onto that uh, drive and uh, I didn't even notice. So about 30% of the game, so the last 30% of the game. I wasn't recording anything while I was thinking that I was. So that's kind of fail, but you know, I guess I'll record another one. And that will be up probably on the Saturday or Sunday, so on during the weekend. So you guys, you know, can definitely expect that. And uh, I think it'll be pretty fun. Um I think that's all I want to say. So uh, let's get on with this game. So I do play Malzahar, you know, with that Sapphire Crystal plus the, the pots. And um I do get that Rod of Ages first, then I'll probably usually go straight for that um Rabadon's to Void Staff build. Um, so I do obviously max E first, it's the better harass. And now the thing what I do with Malzahar usually is I actually max his W quite late. I get the point in it rather quite late. I think I get around level 7 or so. Simply due to because I'm not going to be using it around this level. It's kind of, oops, wow, just gonna, yeah, wow, yeah, just walk right into that. It's because like, I'm basically like, I'm not going to be using it right now since, um, what's it called? It's kind of a waste of mana, I think. I'd rather use my Q E harass on him. Um, so I guess enough talking, let's kind of concentrate on this game a little bit. How did I not get that? <clears throat> so this DF is... So I usually... Oh, come on, I always walk into those, I don't know, I always find them so annoying. <laughs> you just like... Second he throws you, just like, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Where do I go? Where do I go? How do I dodge it? How do I dodge it? And then you end up just getting hit by it. Yeah, I might, I might even get that, so I'm not even trying. So usually around level 3, I start putting some nice harass on them. You know, make my malefic vision level 2. And that's when I really start trying to out zone them and all that stuff. How do I miss that? Oh 
Oh wow, duh. got that one to like 1 HP. Thought I would get both of them. Alright, so I'm gonna slowly start going over to him, you know. Or just stand there. Fucking guy, usually people run. So I'm just used to like throwing it behind them because most people when I do that just start running backwards. But like, not like it's really all that much burst right now anyways, it doesn't really matter. But it does help if I hit it, of course. <clears throat> just notice he doesn't have even health pots. Now that I know that, I'm gonna definitely try harassing him a bit more. His, oh my, I always get hit by that. I don't know why. Something wrong with me. I just It's like one of those things I just can't dodge. No matter how hard I try, <laughs> I'm not gonna dodge him. Who's your jungle? Let's see. What is he like DC and online? Oh my goodness. I still have to learn to last hit with him properly because I don't I haven't played him like I don't play him too much. Fuck my phone. Wow, what a perfect time to yeah, what a oh my god, thanks my my friend just calls me at the perfect time. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Dude, wow. Just as my friend calls me, I decided I wanna turn off the fucking phone and I'm not looking at the game and I fucking die. Wow, that's so cool. <laughs> Fuck, I wanna fucking rage at him later, I swear to god. He fucking killed me. A handicap, I guess. Whatever. But fuck, like I hear, like what of all the times to call me, of all the times to ring, it has to be just that one, like five second time frame on, as they're ready to gank me. I mean, fuck, like, honestly, of all the fucking times, it's just, it's just like a little piss off, you know. I almost never lose Malzahar lane. His lane is just so strong that the fact that I, I could have got the kill if I even paid attention, I would have just put my E, Q, and uh, Ignite on TF, and he most likely would have died. So yeah, that was a little stupid of a uh, thing. Um, what's it called? Mastery. So usually when my laning partner kind of guy, like TF in this case, is not here, I push the lane really fast in hopes of, you know, 
Getting as much damage as I can to the tower. Actually, that's usually when I get the W, I completely forgot. That's fine. I, like, I don't feel like I need it. I mean, it's one of those skills that you don't really use them often until like mid to late game. For example, in a team fight, you know, you throw that out there and then uh, like the, usually enemy, enemy team cannot go in it because they'll take a lot of damage pretty fast and um, you know, they obviously don't want that. So It's usually when I use it. Um, sometimes you can obviously, it's usually it's, it's really hard to get the full combo on him, you know, with the with the W to the E to the Q to the ulti because usually you don't have that much spare time to just you know sit there and just have that sh you know pop all that out really fast um, unless of course you're gonna you're about to amber someone so um, but yeah that's why usually you know you don't want to do that or that's why usually I level my W a little late um, but I'm probably I'm gonna get a next level so. You can kill GP for- ah, oh, you have no mana, never mind. Ha, <laughs> you lived. Wow, that's so sad that you lived. Nice one, nice one, he's dead. Wow, well, at least you got him, I mean. Man. So TF, I don't know where TF is. I mean, there's no way I'm gonna get away, so might as well get someone in the process, right? Because there's no way I'm gonna get away from that. Now, another cool thing to do with um, Malzahar is obviously get the teleport, and then when a team starts. Oh, screw him up, man. He's no way he can take it. He has no ulti. Uh, if he had red buff, he'd definitely die. Watch out for our burst, man. Just in case he hasn't bursted anymore. <coughs> Watch out for TF to ulti, by the way. Yeah, that was a bad move. I'm on my way, but... Yeah.
<clears throat> so now they're waiting for, waiting for that gank again. See, I'm not gonna attack him because uh, I want him to think that I don't know he's there. Kind of waste his time. Cause if I attack him, then he kind of gives it away that I know he's there. So no point in that. I'll just make him waste his time. Yeah, master. Yeah. So I would have had that full combo there, even with the Q, if he was in that bush. Um, unfortunately, he did go in that bush, so I couldn't pull it off. But like, if you can pull off that full, full combo, even with the Q, before you start the ulti, it's huge burst. Because this Q is ridiculously strong if you landed like both of the portals. It's it's so much damage. It's really, really strong. <clears throat> Once I get my U moves, like, I start spanking so hard. I'm just gonna need some ganks, yeah. By the way, Chin, if you have ulti, you can kill him. What you do. Oh. Yo, watch out for TF Tully. If he tells, I'm gonna get middle tower, so it doesn't matter. Walk right into it again. You can just all and then yeah, I just yeah, spin yeah. in and chop. Yeah. The shuffle or TF will teleport though. Then like he's gonna really do much to us, but okay, okay he's gonna use his Q and let's go. Predictable, yes, yeah, swore that Q. Oh my goodness. So, as you can see, my farm is way ahead of everyone else, even though I had a pretty bad early with that, you know, fail, first blood, and everything. Um, ju it just shows that Malzahar is really strong at Like, I oh, really enjoy it. Yo, pull a dash pop up combo. Is that? Is it worth it? Probably is if you beat like that. Okay, yeah, well, there you go. Just, let's push. Let's push mid top. He can't do anything. Let's get that tower. Again. Well, yo, we can, yo, dive him, dive him, dive him. If he stays, if he stays, if he stays, attack tower, attack tower, if he stays, dive him. He's not gonna stay there. Okay, fuck him, fuck him, fuck him, fuck him, fuck him, fuck him, tower, 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 tower. Alright, bomb's gonna need help.
damn, that skin is so fucking sexy. Hey, you, you the farm? You can get the razor. So I really don't hope this hammer can outpush me because huh, Malzahar has huge damage and it's really hard to like outpush a Malzahar in the end since he can clear a wave so fast. Oh my god, destroyed all the creeps and his stupid little turrets, which is how strong he is. Now Akali should be careful because first of all this Twisted Fate I think is... Alright nice one. I guess Twisted Fate didn't have ulti. See, at times it makes you feel like Rallys is good on him, and it definitely is, don't get me wrong. Rallys is amazing on him. Just, I don't enjoy getting Rallys and a Rod of Ages together. I either get one or the other, I don't like getting both of them. I just feel like it's it's good, because you know, it's, it, it kind of gives you that AP and defensive um, you know, stats, I guess. But at the same time, it doesn't give you that, you know, that damage that you want on his a AP caster. That bursty damage. So. So usually I only get one or the other for kind of a defensive item. Well, I, I can kill him, I'm not sure why he even went up. Unless he has a friend behind him. Yo, if he goes up there, say that bush, if he goes up there. Fuck him. Okay, yeah, fuck him up, go up. Wins bush. Fuck, I was hoping. So hoping there wouldn't be anything in there. Because I knew he was going to go there after. Oh my god, that kills her. I'm going to laugh. Oh, damn. Must have been close though. Because I know my Q hit her. So I got a lot of gold, I can... Oh, actually no, I should have seen a thousand. So he got that, which is a very good item actually, so that's good. That was a really nice item to get. Alright, do you want me to kick your ass, Shin? Do you want me to drive to wealth and kick your ass? I don't know. Because I mean, I'd be more than happy to, you know I would. Gonna keep the pressure, uh, pressure up here. I'm gonna go see if their blues up actually soon. I'm just clear this quickly. Done, done, done. See, just simple as that. Look how fast it clears. I mean, it's so good. I really like Mazda here. Really, just really, really solid AP, no doubt. I just, I never really played him before. I never used to like actually realize just how solid of an AP he is. I used to actually think he wasn't that good. I used to think he was like okay. Because I remember before when I played him, I used to suck a lot, so I didn't really like him simply because I was bad with him. But now, like, you know, I'm overall better in League of Legends than I used to be, like, you know, a few months ago. Um, I'm really seeing just how, you know, his power, just how strong he really is.
I mean, 167 CS and 23 minutes in, you know, it's it's not amazing. I mean, it definitely could be better, but it's pretty good. It's really, it's still pretty damn good, but it definitely could be better. But it's not saying a whole lot. I mean. Good one, good one. Let's push his tower. Yo, we'll dive him, we'll dive him. Push him really hard. Because his timer should be healing probably. Or he's really half or he's like half HP. Then just dive them. Just get that TF first probably. That or Master G actually. He just wasted it all. Okay, good. Okay, easy to dive if you want to go in. <laughs> Did you see that shit? Get that tower down. Did you just see that? That was so funny. I'm gonna steal his right. Dude, okay, I ulti GP, right? Like in hopes that I'll get him before he uses his W, but as I use my ulti, he uses W at the exact same time. Like without really, you know, purposely doing it for my ulti, right? He just happened to use it for that time, and then my ulti it didn't hold him in, sp in the in this, you know, in its place. But it was just following him as he was running away, and it killed him. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> really? Yeah. Watch the video when I put it up. <clears throat> no, I don't think that's a glitch though, because I mean, it's still gonna do the damage it needs to, but. Yeah, I got ulti for TF, girl. Oh god. Gay, 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 gay. I thought, oh, whatever, doesn't matter. I got greedy. But um, yeah, yo, that was so funny, like, <laughs> it's like, you just see the beam, like, and it's, yo, it was some range too, yo, it was mad far, and it was still hitting him. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, fuck, I bought the wrong one. I yeah, okay, that's the, oops, I meant to buy the other one. For some reason I thought the blasting one is on the right, I don't know why. That's cool. That's the one thing I think I need to learn how to play, like, I mean, not how to play, but I mean, one thing I need to, like, fix about my gameplay, because my gameplay obviously isn't perfect, I mean, no one's gameplay is perfect, everyone makes mistakes, and the one thing I think that I need to work on better is, um, first, uh, first I need to basically work on overall positioning, I mean, everyone can work on positioning, positioning is one of the most important things in this game, and, uh, anyway, I, I believe I can still definitely, you know, work on mine, um, but the one thing I need to, like, which is exactly, you know, perfect example of there, was uh, getting greedy. Like, I got greedy, I'm getting, you know, cocky a little, and I just completely decided to chase. I'm wasting a flash even for, like, a chase. You usually don't want to waste flashes, flashes for a chase in that kind of situation, just because, I mean, you know, it's, it's pretty stupid. It's, it's just showing that, you know, you're greedy for the kill. So, uh, that's kind of what happened there. I'm gonna get back before they maybe try ganking me or something. Get my blasting wand. Once I get this item, well, that's basically when I'm, I'm I'm pretty set for damage. I mean, that's really all the items I really need to actually start doing some serious damage. 
Um, I'm not there by the way, so watch out. Don't go crazy and die. Anymore. Okay, that's good. Wasted his ulti. You can probably force a Baron now that GP has an ulti. Oh my god. Oh god. Wait, why are we being? I don't understand. What are we, what, like, what are we doing? Where did be? So might as well continue. Did you have design constraints in your Oh my god, what the fuck man, help me. Something there. Okay, um, Ooh. interesting. Oh, something he'll be there. Nice, he's still here.
hell is this guy doing? What the fuck is he doing? Fuck. What happened? How did he... Yo, how'd you get all the guys? How did everyone die? What? It was like a 4v4. How did it get... What the fuck happened? No, dude, it was like a 4v2. Why? Me and... Master G were bottom. We need to go pick someone off. We need some wards, Wes. Get some wards. Get like four wards and just throw that shit down somewhere. And um, we need to pick one off and then get banned. Because this is just getting out of hand right now. I'm not sure why we're even close to being timed. Why the Sona has no oracles? I have no idea. Put a ward here and then put one here after. Okay. Ah, oh, that guy's smart. <laughs> My E went off of thing to a uh, Heimer and killed him. <laughs> you mean take your hands off the keyboard? Fuck pressing hands. That requires your hands to be on the keyboard. Yo, if you can dive and then maybe pull one in the back here or something. <clears throat> I'll just ulti them. Man, that was damage. Shoot that shit. Dude, dude, I just bursted fucking what's his face. TF so hard, my Q did like almost half his HP, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Holy shit, that's so much damage. Yeah, like, that's the thing I love. This Q does so much damage, it's insane. Like, that's what I really love about him. It's ridiculously damage. Oh my god, cut this guy off. Red buff for the win. I got 5k gold almost. I mean, I feel like spending it. So that's it for this game, guys. It was a pretty, pretty stomp game. Um, so I hope you enjoyed. It. I hope you maybe learned something about uh, Mouse of Heart. Um, I definitely enjoyed playing this game. It was fun, even with all the interruptions. <laughs> it was, I guess, that much more of a handicap in a sense. I don't know. 
Either way, it was a fun game. Hope you guys really enjoyed it. Don't forget to post in the comments what my catchphrase should be, what you think it should be. And I will see you guys for my Red Assizes video probably on Saturday, which is tomorrow for you. So if you're watching it on the day this is up or it is on the Sunday. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will definitely see you for the next video. Peace.